Man, as a Louisville fan, it was so hard trying to get tickets to the Louisville Kentucky game. I know it happens every year, but it's so hard to get tickets. It should not be that hard to get a ticket to support your team and be a true fan. And with game time, that problem is no longer an issue. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about buying tickets to your next big event. Game time is the fastest, easy way to get your tickets to the next big event and the price is guaranteed. So go ahead and take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. So download the game time at make account, use promo code club520 and get $20 off. Sign up. And while you at it, go ahead and use the promo code CLUB520 for $20 off your first purchase on the app. Don't forget, use CLUB520 for the promo code. You get that $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Subscribe to our YouTube, CLUB520. Uh, we clowning on that mother Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Will. Same gang with me to my left. My dog, Bishop, be here out the pearlies. How you what today? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it. Mike put you on blast in the story, man. He put your, your day-to-day fit, man. They calling you a fraud. They say you don't really live this Black Force life, man. What's yeah, up? Yeah, I got to look in the DMs, man. <laughs> I was just bringing my his keys because he couldn't get in the building, and he set me up. Got my a birthday gift today and everything. Got you a gift and he exposed you. He did me dirty. Damn, Mike, he you got a pocket. closest to you. It's your birthday? Next oh, month. damn. Happy early birthday, nigga. Happy birthday, dog. Turn What's up. Up. Still to my right, my dog, young Nacho, young Tig. How you what? I'm chilling, bro. I had a chance to put the phones on, bro. What's these? The Memphis phones? Them tough. The Memphis Tiger phones. So I, I ain't forget about y'all. I did for a little bit, but I'm back. I got to ask. So the phone positive, you know what I'm saying? What's Penny's best shoe? Penny one. Penny one. Yeah. Not a penny two, maybe. I don't know. Them, them go back and forth for me. That black penny two it's fine. Is, is one of the best Nike basketball shoes ever. That's, yeah. that's what I was going to pick, the black penny two for sure. Yeah, yeah. it's an elite colorway. The phone pause is still crazy for me too, but just to be different in the situation, I fuck with the penny fours. Like the certain colorway, that strap is a fire ass shoe to me. Now you got to have the right colorway in that shoe because if not, that shit look like some Payless shit. But the OG colorized Nestle, I fucked with heavy, especially that white and red one. They just mm. too bulky, bro. They are bulky. That's a big ass shoe. I don't bro. know about them Penny Fours. <laughs> I fuck with the Penny Fours. <laughs> the penny Fours is damn near uh, rack room shoes. Oh, you about to pocket. Really. <laughs> especially the white and red ones, bro. No, that white and red Penny Three. I That's mean, a power four shoe. Oh, for sure. That's not a guard shoe. <laughs> I mean, really, none of them shoes that they made was for guards. <laughs> not, penny Fours. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I ain't really sold on them penny. Yeah, fuck with. I don't like the penny three at all. I do with the wavy shit yeah, on the I, side. I do. I love them. Mm. I got the, the black, black and blue ones. I got the black ones. Cold. Yeah, the white and blue was cold too. Though yeah. that white and blue is solid. They just yeah. came back out. Yeah, them the threes is harder than the way harder than the fours. Four, the bro. fours is. Yeah. Damn, post fours, post me up. Y'all my niggas. <laughs> I'm nothing. I got to roll with the fours. This is a personal favorite. I might be a little biased. Nah, bro. Olajuwon just passing them out to the big men in the workouts. Now, Olajuwon's shoe was trash. <laughs> what was his shoe the like? Tonics, I, I thought it was some British Knights. He had shit. another shoe too. Yeah. yeah. The BKs. He went against the culture. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Coming to America PE, that's crazy. <laughs> Low key tough. Hey, uh-huh. we're speaking of birthday shit. It's our birthday. By the time this episode will come out, we'll be one year in this podcast shit. We officially dropped the Josh Smith episode. Damn, our first episode was January 31st. Yeah, the first one episode one we year. dropped. Smooth, Damn, man. Shout out to Josh Smith, man. That was a, a lot of shit that happened episode. in the year. Classic episode. If you haven't watched it, please spin that. It's one of the best episodes. That's that's definitely one of the guests we need to bring back on this show. Yeah. It's a couple people, you know what I'm saying? We done had throughout the year. We appreciate y'all. We're going to start submitting a block with some of the people, man. We need, we got to have another PJ episode, too. Yeah, it's, it's a couple people we need in 520 Studios to slide through, man, for I sure. I mad at that. They got to see the upgrades. Yeah. They're part of it. We appreciate it. They're part of the lineage. Be him was like. Oh, for sure. Definitely Fact. PJ, motherfucking Sada. Shout out to Sada. Josh, yeah, everybody, for real. Shout out to Bubba Dub. He volume game now, too. He yeah. pulled up to the crib. Uh, Thanks. I'm really hating on you because your team won. I told you. That's so why I got this hat on. It don't go with shit. I'm just telling you, I just fuck with winners, man. Y'all was hating on Purdy. Purdy. 
That nigga got active. Nah, he went crazy. Yeah, he got active. He got he went crazy that second half. Say what you want to about the line shit in the bed. Yes, they did, but guess what? Rock party went crazy that second he half. Did. And you have to respect it. Yeah, facts. Put some respect on my man. Now he about to get him a chip. Nah, they came back, bro. That was a good ass game. Nah, I don't yeah. know about y'all getting a chip now. Cause y'all gotta see that nigga on the other side. Y'all ain't have to see Ooh, him. Taylor Swift? <laughs> <laughs> nah, let me stop. People are already saying that I'm racist crazy. and shit. Yeah, that uh, she might as well put a jersey on this much publicity she getting. But damn, you see how much money she made for the NFL? It's crazy. 330. I wish you shout us out, Taylor. <laughs> shit. <laughs> show up to one of the live shows or something. God damn. Taylor Swift on this show will go platinum. Man, what? Oh, yeah, we I'm up her out biggest of here. fan, really. We up out of here. Yeah, I remember I said she was bigger than. Never mind. I'm going to keep that to myself. Oh, you said she was bigger than Beyonce? Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think Beyonce could do what she doing for the NFL. Mm. Um, Who Beyonce dating in the NFL? Let's go. We here. Bebo uh, Samuels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. Yeah, that wouldn't move the needle, bro. That shout, would. Shout out to my nigga, bro. <laughs> fuck the 49ers, nigga. I need you on the show, though. I fuck That's with That's my Debo. nigga. I fuck and with my Debo. nigga Trent. I fuck with y'all. The yeah, long, boy. The 49ers is a crazy ass team. What a low. That's really my squad. I need both of them on the I don't show. I think they was dating Beyonce. No, we would need Beyonce to date Antonio Brown. If Beyonce was dating Pat Mahomes, though, it'll be up. No, it wouldn't. It would. It'd be up. That'd be a bad blend. Ooh, that's nasty. Nah, that'd be up, bro. He already lit. He more of a Sam. He more of a... Uh... Y'all about to disrespect I'm him? I'm surprised he didn't get Taylor shit. Yeah, that's more his speed. Yeah. <laughs> Kelsey took his flow bar for yeah, bar. Yeah, that's more his speed, right? Though. Respect to, to, <laughs> to who you date. I don't even want to... Nah, right. I'm just saying. I don't know. You know, any like, who couldn't be more <laughs> famous than Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey? Yeah, I was going to say, in NFL, I can't think of too many. Travis Kelsey is a good pickup, though. He couldn't put too many together to make something greater than that. That's crazy. Because, I mean, Beyonce definitely couldn't date Lamar Jackson. <laughs> no. Like, Lamar Jackson go with Sexy Red. <laughs> Damn. We're going to get Lamar. I was going to get him, That's a silly like, prom date. <laughs> I'll get Lamar, like, Ice Spice or some shit like that. I, I don't do that to I'll my fuck man. with it, I fuck with that. Yeah, I don't feel that. That's a combo. Nah, I can see that. That'd be crazy on the timeline. But yeah. him and Sexy Red would be insane. That'd be uh, That'd be lit, bro. That'd be tough. That'd be lit, bro. It'd be a tough look. <laughs> we for real should just start putting together individual couples, but we'll probably get in trouble. Because <laughs> yeah. nah, I'm thinking some of the randomest people. Like, nah. Who fucking with Jameis Winston? <laughs> oh, Jameis Winston. <laughs> Same mental health. <laughs> Same as well, for sure. <laughs> nah, don't do my dog. You gotta, like put Hamlin. Like... you gotta put DeMar Hamlin with Britney Spears. No, nah, DeMar Hamlin. <laughs> Who's another AI motherfucker? <laughs> I gotta think about that. The horror, DeMar Hamlin and Britney Spears is funny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar, I might have to put the bar with Suki Cause Suki ain't real either well, yeah, I did. <laughs> See that picture with Suki and Dr. Umar Cause I put Birdman with Suki But that, the bar may be a better fit nah, it's, Why it's was good. Birdman and Jalen Rose in that game Together <laughs> What game? The 49ers game they, Bro, they, did a, uh, they did an interview together Did you see when they took uh -huh. They took the picture of him shaking Nick, uh, Nick Bosa's hand Nah it's like Nick that. Bosa wash his hand so fast <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's disrespectful <laughs> Birdman Shout out to the bird, man. <laughs> hey, that is Rose. I, I heard their podcast. Well, their little interview they did together. It was decent. Shout out to Jalen Rose, man. Yeah. Still thriving in this media shit. Man, Jalen Rose need to come on the show, man. For sure. Whole five five. Yeah. Nah, nah but for Jaylen real, Rose. who, who y'all got? 49ers or the Chiefs? Chiefs. 49ers. Yeah. Pat Mahomes, the legacy. And fuck the 49ers. Man, 49ers, I'm better because y'all always up. kick our ass. It's up. That'd be hard, though, Debo, get a Super Bowl, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be. He's going to turn to Antonio Brown. No, nah, I am not doing that. I'm not putting that smoke on him, for that. Bro. My nigga club appearance is going to be crazy. Bro, player. He, he player. <laughs> yeah, he too I player. fuck with him. Yeah. Y'all team is super solid, though. Like, I have everything y'all had to win the entire year. I know everybody was like, wasn't no parody in the playoffs for real. I mean, too bad. The best teams won. That's yeah. what happened. Lamar Jackson, unfortunately, shit, bro. What y'all think about that, though, bro? To me, and I don't, you know, I be playing, talking about the script and all that shit, but I ain't gonna bullshit you, bro. Some of that shit look like it was cat, bro. Niggas was, like? niggas was really dropping passes. Shit just looked crazy. Nigga had open motherfuckers. He wasn't throwing to him. 
That's what that pressure do. Shit look weird, bro. I, I was going to say, and also watching that game, like, man, the Ravens defense got stops on Pat Mahomes consistently. Yeah. Niggas do not do that, bro. Yeah. Their game plan for Lamar Jackson sucked because Lamar yeah. Jackson should have been running. Like, the fact that it looked like he was purposely trying to stay in the pocket to... They should have ran the ball way more. A- they absolutely. had 16 uh, carries for, like, 100 yards. Yeah, bro. When Gus ain't getting the... Honestly, their offensive coordinator should be pinned lost for that game. That's why I would say game plan. And also, Lamar throwing that fucking... Passing his own under triple coverage was insane. Right, but Buddy Dodge. blew it too when he got it knocked out of the knocked out of his hand. Zay bro, Flowers, had... Zay, and I fuck with Zay, but Zay that was a big fuck up. He fucked up. That's yeah. all. I mean, he it just was fucked critical. up. Yeah, it was critical. Because even the the play, the two plays before that, when he got the big play downfield, and then he gets to taunting. So yeah. then he makes up for it and gets the first down again, and then you know crossing the end zone. Like, wow, that's an amazing play too for him to knock the ball out the goal line. That's amazing awareness. Still, like, yeah, damn, bro, you really set your team back. Nah, but they had to chances him. in that game. The Chiefs didn't blow them away. Like, they they play great defense, but shit, the offense didn't get done. And Lamar got another year here about how he can't get that shit done. But also, shit, it's Pat Mahomes, bro. He gonna win MVP too, though. As he should, as he though. should, yeah, he as he should. It. Lamar, Lamar Cove, bro. Lamar's one of the coders. I hate, I hate, hate, hate the way that they criticize him so much. Like he's not one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL and hasn't been. Nah. No other MVPs get criticized like that. Mm-mm. This is what come with him. He gonna though, have bro. to win one though, just for one. sure. He the Allen Iverson of the NFL. He just gotta win one. Mm. He too raunchy for the NFL. Like Pat Mahomes is clean cut. You feel me? But I feel like what's not fair about that. Well, I agree with your statement. Is that he don't say shit. He don't. That's the one thing I hate about. Him. It's, like, it's not like he be he talking dark crazy. Skin. Yeah, he just and he hang in the trenches. He just dark skin. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, but I'm saying though, that's why I like he really be in the trenches for real, kicking it. Yeah. It's Pat Mahomes being the trenches. Nah, 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 I don't give a fuck, but I honestly want to see Debo Samuels win this shit, bro. So I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, That's I want to cool. see Debo win. I ain't gonna lie. Pat Cole, though. Yeah, if, so if he win, win, I ain't fucked up about it because he he one of them ones. He definitely one of them ones. Yeah. For sure. Hey, niggas in the league been going crazy. What yeah. league? The NBA, the league. Oh, the real league. The real league. Now, I guess in what league we talk about, we say that. I, guess we... I don't know. <laughs> you are ill. That's one. That's a special place. <laughs> You are. I'm here to say that. I don't know what you been searching. Me and Jeff could go in about the URL. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> now, nah, what up, though? Hey, man. Free the wave. Free the wave. <laughs> Facts. Luca went crazy last week. D Book went crazy last week. And B went crazy last week. Cat went crazy last week. Who had the best performance? Luca. Mmm. Went for 73 in the win. I guess the team that drafted him, that traded him away. My Hawks. <laughs> Man, that shit looked crazy. I was watching that game. He just come across half court embarrassing niggas. It was funny as hell. Hey, man. <laughs> they were sending doubles. You got to send triple T. Hey, you got to hear Dominique Wilkins talking about it. You got to send everybody. <laughs> send everybody, man. Yeah. He is torturing us. <laughs> I'm rolling. <laughs> Damn, Dominique look like the time Larry gave y'all ass buckets and the bitch was laughing and shit. That's hell what it yeah, was. That's, that's the last time just, a white person went crazy there. Look just like that. That nigga was having flashbacks over there. I said, that nigga sweating. Nah, fuck. <laughs> Shout out to Nick Nate. That nigga Nick seen that before. <laughs> that shit look familiar to my fucking... 6'8 white boy going crazy. That motherfucker crazy. move just like Bird, too. Man, Definitely. <laughs> Same movements. Yeah. I yeah. fuck with that Luca performance, though. I liked all of them, for real. Niggas is really gifted, for real. They yeah. are, bro. I watched that Pacers Suns game, and that first quarter, I said, oh, my God. <laughs> Devin Booker is going fucking crazy, and there's nothing we can do about it. Not a fucking thing. No. And then when he happened to miss or pass the ball, it went to fucking Kevin Durant. The Suns is cheap, man. They lost, though. They definitely did. Y'all don't, but y'all don't really play defense, bro. Y'all yeah. the Steve Nash Suns. Oh, I mean, but still, bro, just to see somebody do that like that, bro. No, nah, like, it's he wasn't, crazy. Like, and he was aggressive, too. It wasn't like he was just getting, oh, no, nah, he was like, nah, I'm about to kill niggas. Oh, that's crazy. Nah, these dudes are so, so talented now, bro. Unbelievable. They shot making skills. It's just unreal. Yeah. 
Like, like it's 70 points, 60 points. Bro, that shit is crazy. And I hate the old heads. Hey, it was just like, I miss when people play defense. Bro, they're not letting these niggas score, bro. Paul Pierce been on niggas' ass lately, ain't he? <laughs> that nigga ain't let my fuckers breathe, boy. That nigga, boy. He out of pocket. That nigga said <laughs> it was given. <laughs> what he got on UD post? I said, boy, that nigga ain't he, he <laughs> hell, UD. boy. Be careful in Miami, Pauly P. Yeah, I'm going to say. Because you see, he was just like, hey, I want, I, I'd love to sit down with them, you know what I'm saying, hash it out. And he was like, nah, it was giving. He said, nah, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I, like old, I like when old niggas don't let the beef go. I appreciate that. They got to let it go. They have to, But bro. it's funnier when they don't. I think KG would let it go. For sure. Yeah, KG, KG a real one, bro. KG kind of chilled out now. He kind of like, he, he ain't hating on the young dudes. No, he's showing nah. everybody love. I seen one episode he was talking about people who was a dog and shit. He named a lot of people that I probably wouldn't think he would name. Yeah. And Paul like, Pierce corrected him. That's why that shit works, But though. them niggas are dogs, though. That's what exactly. I'm saying. Like, them niggas is nice, but I ain't never would think I'll see KG say these niggas was nice. Like, but. And I honestly think KG really watches basketball now. Paul Pierce is like, yeah, that nigga ain't like that. And bro probably really don't be checking in like, <laughs> like KG. Not. Like how KG really tapped in to Tyrese Halliburton when they yeah. sat down. Nah, bro, he really invested. Like yeah, it broke yeah, down, like yeah. that nigga's skill set and everything. Polly P ain't doing that. Polly like, nigga, I'll bust your ass if y'all try to call me. That nigga was cold, though. <laughs> he was cold oh, in the bitch. Was. One of the best elbow jump shots of all time. Niggas don't talking. really be giving him his respect like nah, that. Facts. It's because he be, he be doing wild shit and we just discounted like, oh, Uncle Paul, Nigga be drunk at the Cheesecake Factory he talking really crazy about basketball. He really got a cold mixtape, bro. No, he had a cold career, <laughs> period. Nah, no. yeah, but I'm saying, like, mm-hmm. niggas don't even think he used to slam on niggas like that. Pause, but <laughs> Paul Slimmer. Pierce used to duck niggas every game, bro. Swear to God. Nah, shut slow, to slow first step. Bro, him and Antoine Walker was going crazy for a long time up there in Boston, bro. Yeah. I can't believe Antoine Walker used to get that shit off, bro. He was a better version of Sam Perkins, bro. <laughs> my, nigga didn't even, my nigga didn't even jump, nigga, at nah, all. That's why I had game, And he though. had pity. No, cold. But I'm saying the pity pay, he was the first unathletic nigga I paid attention to. <laughs> that was really silly. Yeah, he got active. Bro, he was on the cover of Live, bro. Yeah, he bro. really wasn't that athletic, but. He wasn't, bro. He'd get you a dumb, but hell, he's 6'9". He had one of the coldest quotes I ever heard. What'd he say? Dude asked him why you shoot so many threes. He said, because it ain't no four pointers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shit I, ever heard. I say he a classic. Go that. shit. That's God. fire. Damn. That's fire. That's a fire. That's cool. We gotta look that up. Hey man, that Steph LeBron battle was crazy. That shit was crazy. I know them old niggas and I wouldn't play no double overtime game, but it was good to see LeBron still killing like that. Nah. He's special, bro. Yeah, LeBron, he. He yeah. damn near number one, bro. We've been blessed to see that, bro, in our generation, bro. Yeah. We got lucky to see the probably the greatest player ever, yeah. arguably. arguably. I mean, to be doing what he's doing at, what, he's 39 now? Mm-hmm. Shit crazy. crazy. Starting the All-Star game, and not just because <clears throat> he LeBron. No, because he's killing. Nah, Gilbert Arenas made a great point. The criticism we didn't give Mike when he was 39 and he was hooping. And mm-hmm. we be on Brian ass, and he killing way more than Jordan was. Oh, shit is hell yeah. Yeah. he would destroy Jordan in DC, right? Man, that Jordan, shit is thirty nine year old Jordan though was elite at that time because niggas that old couldn't get twenty. Yeah, yeah. facts. But to see what Brian doing, and then go see what other niggas did at thirty nine, this nigga is crazy. Still, yeah, that's not bro. even comparable, bro. Nigga, it's not, bro. He the coldest forty year old ever, bro. Ever, <laughs> hands down, bro. He's ridiculous. The real Delroy. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> nigga, Tristan try to keep up with him, bro. Oh, that's why he had it. <laughs> Whatever that dose is, bro, I got his crazy. Biggest 40 year league with Cadaver. Kevin Willis, Cadaver. Kevin Carter, never. great career. Cadaver at 40. Nah, nigga, Tristan Robert Thompson. Parrish. Oh, Robert Parrish. Oh, my God. Crazy. AC Green. Cooked. <laughs> Kareem was 40 when he got there. <laughs> Oh, so he Morgan Freeman? He, he the first AI nigga. <laughs> AC Green was 40 and still didn't get no buns. That's crazy. He was lying. Lying like a motherfucker. Though. Him and Tim Tebow, lying. That's for Niggas love Jesus and have sex too, bro. It's okay. <laughs> you can get married, bro. That's a crazy yeah. lie. Shout out to all the pastors. The pastors are fucking. They got kids. Bro. I hear crazy <laughs> shit. Nah, off the court. The song. <laughs> 
Hey, I, I swear to God, you didn't know I was gonna bring this up. I seen the video on Instagram where the side chick interrupted the service and came in and said, "I'm pregnant by the pastor." <laughs> Bro, walk down the aisle, bro. bro was somebody else wedding? <laughs> no, nah, it was just Sunday service. It's oh. Like I said, he got me knocked up. Oh. <laughs> That's fire. They got hurt the fuck out of here. Nah, he, he got to he gotta get the fuck out of here. He said, I ain't leaving. See, that's why you got to dip in that collection pipe. <laughs> that 10% nigga, can't go to God this nigga, week. Pass that, pass that plate around the side, nigga. That 10% can't go to the Lord this week. That got to go to my bitch. <laughs> pass that collection plate around the side, nigga. That got to go to my bitch. What's, this, what's the Christian way to say send the video? <laughs> That's the collection play. <laughs> Make sure she sit at the end of the row. <laughs> that nigga so. stupid. Oh man, but when I seen that, I said that's the craziest shot. I done seen some crazy shit in the shirt, but her she came down the aisle. I like, know that nigga said, "Lord willing." <laughs> <laughs> that's a silly prayer. I know he said, "Lord willing." His wife ain't sure she should have stole that bitch in her mouth. <laughs> the first lady. <laughs> She's a hoe. She sat down. <laughs> the first lady here acting. Oh, hey, if the first lady throw hands, that's fine. <laughs> no, nah, you got to, bro. This is a church you can believe in. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Speaking of hands, hey, Draymond, why he slapped the shit out of Anthony Davis like that, bro? <laughs> Draymond just <laughs> he aggressive, man. I'm just gonna say that he aggressive. He be with him doing this to Buddy was funny as hell. Yeah, he bro. hold Jerry Vanderbilt. Shout out to bitch ass up. Jerry Vanderbilt was like. You did. You did. <laughs> you supposed to go back. Nigga, you nah, nigga. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck you. Drake Mon crazy. Hey man. The NBA been crazy this week. I gotta ask y'all, what was the better move? The Wimby Sham God? Wimby Sham God. Or the Thanasis behind the back. <laughs> <laughs> That the Nazis was a hype, though. They hated on it. That wasn't trouble. That wasn't trouble. They that wasn't trouble. But that Wimby Shem guy is crazy. Crazy. crazy Why bro. are you 7 5 shaming niggas? Stretch, bro. Pause. Yo, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, that was crazy. That's what I call my shit. <laughs> the real stretch four. <laughs> 7 5 shaming niggas was crazy, too. <laughs> bro, that, bro. that that's kind of crazy. Like, yeah. I don't want to talk about pieces. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> Cause yeah, right, Paul. My crazy. four fellas, that's crazy. Y'all but, remember that toy though, Stretch Armstrong? Oh, I ain't never. Y'all ain't never seen that toy? He used to stretch his arms. <laughs> now nah, that shit, like, y'all remember that shit, Stretch <laughs> Armstrong? Big bag toys and shit. That motherfucker used to okay, put his arm in there. <laughs> that's crazy. That's what Wimby looked like though, but it's good. Cool. Hey, that nigga Wimby. Shame got a nigga at the free throw line and did a layup on the opposite side of the court. That's what I'm saying, Whoa. bro. That nigga looks like a creative player. <laughs> the Naces. I think we'd be fucking that nigga name. Maybe it's the nastiest, that boy name. The nastiest? The nastiest. Yes. The nastiest. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that motherfucker behind the back. They was like, hey, this is too good for him. It's got to be illegal. I swear to God, because it was clean as fuck. I never got hyped when I see it. I think I made a comment on one of the posts. Like, that shit clean. Now they was like, you hating. You hating. I'm like, nah, for real, that's a good move. No, that's nigga. team nigga for sure. Yeah, that is my nigga. Yeah, I don't know why niggas act like I don't fuck with him. He uh, actually he good. Definitely. Yeah. Hey, the crazy part about it is them about to like review that. The end of the game when that was up, that's ridiculous. If y'all yeah. put a challenge on that, y'all out of pocket. I, I wish they would have. <laughs> I wish they would have. Oh, shit. Before we get out of here, Boston going crazy. Uh, why did Jalen Brown call him <laughs> and Chris Asperzegas cookies and cream? Dunkaroos. That's the sickest. Dunkaroos. I'm going to start calling them Dunkaroos. <laughs> That's the weakest name. <laughs> Dunkaroos. Crispy. That the is hell? a nasty combo. <laughs> Cookies and cream. I'm gonna need, yeah. Yeah, that's out of pocket. JT addressed that. I yeah. got a question for y'all, though. How y'all feel? Y'all Cookies been paying attention cream. to the... Uh... I need it because you know what I'm gonna be. <laughs> yeah, What's what about this podcast? Then we pissed at the... One of the <laughs> greatest R&B <laughs> groups ever. Uh, That's not... They are one of the greatest. Okay, my bad. It's a, they not. No, nah, respects. I thought they watched the podcast. <laughs> we got a lot. <laughs> like, <laughs> he out of pocket. No, I want to support my teammates. I really I, fuck with him, though. I do. I really want to ask y'all about the Megan and Nikki, if y'all been paying attention to any of To the beef. Is Nikki out of pocket? <laughs> DJ on Twitter, I don't know, bro. I ain't, I ain't really tapped in. Uh, if Meg's always right. That's crazy. What'd she say? Meg was talking right. about, like, basically... Like, bitch, you really can't say nothing. Your man play with kids. And she said, wrong way. she said, oh. shut up. Your mom is dead. You got shot in the foot. Nikki, <laughs> <I'm> was, <laughs> that's what she was on, bro. She said, yeah. Hold on, Nikki told her mama dead? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah she, and she yeah. said, get up on your good foot. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bar. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Get on the other foot. Oh, oh man. man. But then like, your mama man. did as foul yeah, as that's hell. Fucked yeah, up. it was crazy. Oh, I, for sure. I was, like, was her mama really dead? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, I ain't rolling with that one. Nah, she could have nah. left that one out. Yeah. I, she taught her to get up on her good foot, though. Every time funny. I see Nikki that's do Twitter fun. rants, it's like, okay. Yeah. It's gonna get out of pocket, and I probably just don't want to look at her. Big foot, fragment foot ass bitch. She was talking insane. Bullet fragment foot bitch. I said, Nikki is insane. Nikki on coke, bro. Yeah. She on coke. Yeah, Nikki now, on coke, bro. What if, my thing is, if she would have did this during the Tory trial, then this would have been like, oh, yeah, this would have been legendary. Been on legendary. Yeah. But I just think Nikki out of pocket. To me, I feel like Nikki, she kind of fucked her career up. Like, outside of Buddy, because fucking with him is out of pocket. I don't give a fuck how long that was. He still, that shouldn't have went down. But Who's on killer? I feel like how Nikki, how big Nikki was when we was coming up, that 29, 2010, if she would have kept, I mean, 29, 2009, 2010, mm-hmm. if she would have kept going and fucking with all the youngsters coming up, she'd be way bigger than what she is. She's still a superstar, but I don't think she respected like that no more. Oh, you saying she would have fucked with the other new artists? Yeah, like fucked with Cardi instead Bryce, of beefing uh, with her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, she she would be like Drake. Cause you know how Drake pull in Dirk and all them young niggas. Mm-hmm. She would have did audience. Cardi and all them like that and Lotto and all them, bro. Damn, she would have did an album with. Come like, on, bro. You could have really did heart. that. Uh, damn, my memory fucked up. What's that shit that Missy Elliott and them did back uh, in the day? Yeah, yeah, Lady Ladies Mama. Lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did it all without her. Cause they would nobody that, liked her. Or nah, they right, go but I'm nobody. saying if they would have did that <laughs> shit with Nicki, bro. Come on, man. Just imagine if Nicki was cool with Cardi and all them and they did a tour. I don't Fire. agree. I don't agree with a lot of stuff that she does, but I also feel like she is the best. She's the goat. Yeah, she the best. And them not acknowledging it probably made her feel away. Her actions behind it is horrible. But still, when you an OG, I feel like you rather they like showing you your giving you your flowers or not. I feel like you still need to embrace because you the top dog. Yeah, but also in the same Let time, let a motherfucker see if they fucking with you first before you just automatically. That's like him. <clears throat> in the league and around a bunch of young niggas and niggas ain't like, damn, T, he was cold, da, da, bro. I ain't fucked up about that. He's still going to show love. I mean, if niggas disrespect you, then you take that f- step, but you ain't yearning for that love like that. Like, yeah. I agree with you. I think she could have been way more approachable, way more yeah, helpful. Yeah, bro. But she was in an industry that really, I mean, there weren't a lot of women rapper superstars. Yeah. Especially yeah. when she started popping. Right. So she was literally probably the only, if not the biggest thing in women's rap yeah. in the time period. And I ain't mad yeah. at you for beefing with Remy Ma. Yeah. That's some old head shit. But yeah, like I the mean, youngsters that's... coming up, like Cardi B, Megan, what's uh what's chick from Pyre? Dark skin that used to from Life Detroit. Keisha? Keisha, all them, bro. I feel like you embrace them and bring them up. It's just gonna make the women hip hop section that much bigger. But at the same time, there's a lot of people in different industries that, like you said, the longevity piece is embracing the the future. I yeah. seen her fuck with Ice Spice, though. Yeah. Wow. She's fuck with some of them, but shit, just look at the NBA. How a lot of them old head niggas who be hating that once they phased out, nobody cared about them no more, then they had to kind of start talking to people to try to get some traction to be, yeah. get that love again. It's just shit. Some people who successful, bro, just don't give a fuck about shit. And I she was too high that, to give bro, a fuck. But I just, like... We talk about, like, Drake, bro. Drake didn't have to fuck with the Migos, bro. Nope. He didn't have to do that shit, bro. He didn't have to fuck with Dirk. He didn't have to fuck with, uh, what's my nigga name? Uh, Blue Vandross. Uh, he couldn't, all these niggas, it's random to him, bro. He the biggest. But he probably fuck with their music, though. Yeah, but I'm she saying, She probably thought though, they was weak. She probably, I'm way better than y'all niggas. I respect it, I guess. Or but. she probably just at that time, girls probably thought it could only be one. And you know, shit, girls don't be getting oh, along. Yeah, I can see that. Girls yeah. don't be getting along like that. No way. Yeah, yeah fuck. Motherfuckers can't even go on, on a fucking birthday trip together without coming back arguing. Especially if they both bad. Oh, yeah. Like Lotto and Nicki ain't gonna mix. I mean, they could. They got a song together? They probably do. I was talking about it. After Remy, I believe it was that Cardi shit. They fighting and shit at them award shows. I just think that shit was unnecessary. But y'all right, girls do be feuding, so I guess yeah. they're different. But shout out to them. I ain't heard. I got to go tap into what Megan oh, yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, crazy. It I heard somebody say she said something about Megan, Megan Raw. Fuck Megan Raw or something. Oh, know. yeah. She said she just been ran through letting niggas uh, raw dog McGraw. That McGraw is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Speaking of female. Who look better, though? Oh. Good question, Tigger. Mike, you, you. Come on. Meg, okay. Meg Mike, look better Mike. than Nikki. Smoking dope. That's a good question, T. I fuck with you for that. 
<laughs> All right. You hope Mike is disrespecting Nikki women without her pen and her ass bust. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, we just it's... talking about face face cars, bro. You want her body to explode. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki. I'm going to go with Nikki, bro. Yeah. Meg is cute, but she got the face like, oh, she look just yeah. like her daddy. I hate when oh, she do wow. that. When she yeah. go, yeah. why she yeah. doing that shit? Nick? I don't know. What do you mean? You can't say that word. <laughs> yes, I can. Nah, Nikki. You said they look retarded, and we can't say that word. Our word. <laughs> <laughs> Freaky Mike. But said if we it. going, no allegations, no, if you just saw them next to each other, fuck what they got going on. Cause I'd be team Megan if that was the case. But face card, give me Nikki. Give me Nikki with whatever they got going on. Oh, he's out of, oh, out of Speaking of female Nikki. rappers, um I'll go rap. Roman in the league. <laughs> yeah, 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 all the personalities keep all them shits at home. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah. go bring them all. But, yeah. <laughs> you need four four women in her. Hey, Role on, play. Yeah, you can be wherever she wanna be. <laughs> Shout out to Nikki. <laughs> Hey man, Mariah the Scientist and Young Thug Kyle should not have been on the internet, but that shit was absolutely hilarious. Uh, obviously, the Kyle be like that. Yes. <laughs> I ain't seen that either. <laughs> I ain't tapped in what happened. Yes. Oh, they was like, <laughs> they was fight, FaceTiming or something? Yes. No, it was on the jail call. How, how did that get leaked? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. They, they can hear what they talk about. They probably have phone sex. No, uh, this ain't phone sex. It was, it was about to get there. She was just basically saying, like, I love you. Like, I wish you was here. She so was baby can... talking to him. Yeah, I wish she you was here her so throat. we could fuck. She cleared her throat like she had just smoked a whole Newport before she got her change yeah, of character. Yeah. That shit was crazy. She was basically saying, bro, I miss you. I love you. I wish you was uh, here so you can, you feel me, get me together. Ah, uh, what's wrong with that? Yeah, the, DJ the, out what, of pocket, man. No, nah, that ain't me. The voice that she used was fucking hilarious. I say DJ, I mean Mike on Pornhub. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> I heard that, that sound before. I said, "Damn, is that Mr. Marcus yeah. instrumental?" <laughs> no, that's the Tiana that's Trump. <laughs> no, <laughs> Tiana Trump. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's about to rap. I love you. This Mariah the scientist. Mm-hmm. I thought she was white. Wow. Thanks for my gifts. I thought they was a little bigger than that. Oh, he's still getting changed while he locked up. My boy getting that money. Take care of the household. Damn. Thicker. Thicker. I need you to talk to me like that. You hear me, T? Yeah, I'm very appreciative. Ah, go crazy. Don't tell me beans. <laughs> tell me you want me at home and put it on me. Pete, get your, me I'm sorry, just don't Pete, get your talk game better. <laughs> oh, what? Call her Tiger Nelly. What do you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn, her throat was itching. Yeah. <laughs> she just heard baby voice. That yeah. Was fucking, ah! yeah. Mm, that motherfucker sound like a baby motorcycle. You about to tune that bitch she up. She got that lawnmower going. Get to it. Get to it. Please Man. call me on that type of time. Yeah. Especially if I'm incarcerated. Gas me. Please get me together. Yeah. I think that's one thing people didn't understand. My nigga is locked up. Yeah, yes, do the extras for my You nigga. got to, bro. Bro, mental health everywhere, bro. Yeah, he posted, and that's a place where niggas need You really piece. supposed to wear a shirt with your titties out when you open your jacket up. Just a shirt of you with your titties out. You trying to get her on the other side of that wall with her. <laughs> she gonna check into Like a real shirt, and then you, like, you can pull it down and be a picture of you with your titties. This is my camera? Yeah. Okay. I got to see something, bro. When I go back to the crib, <laughs> to the cell. Boys, I'm living here with something. Yeah, I, got, I got to go back home with something to the celly, bro. Orlando Brown is his alter ego. Excuse him. 
That's my nigga. Y'all see what I posted? What that nigga said? Bro, you she had gave me that me fucking die. I thought I wrote you. Bro, I was laughing I so laugh fucking so hard, hard, nigga. It's That's only what? funny because you don't post that much. And if I see Orlando Brown, I know you somewhere laughing. I was fucking crying, Orlando Brown, bro. When you said the Kevin Hart, the real Kevin Hart is 50 Tyson, it's still the funniest thing of the year so far. It is classic, bro. Oh man, I see Raven Simone looking like him in a video recently. Oh wait, Ooh, that's weak. She had the whole giddy up on. Damn, that man. reunion show is like never him. happening. Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm shit if she turned out the way she did though. Oh, be careful. Nah, I'm gonna speak my piece. Speak Talk his, go speak ahead, your piece, King. King. Yeah, man, because Raven was supposed to be one of them ones, bro. Man, she was supposed to be nice. Well, Raven was supposed to get the BBLs cracking. Mm, she was supposed to be pioneer. Yes, bro. You work 400 mils, bro. Yes. You know who was really supposed to be nice? Oh, girl off of Fresh Prince. Hmm. Tatiana Ali. Man, she, classic T. She was supposed to be that deal. I ain't saying she ugly now, but when I seen her show, she wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Well, a, I can't yeah. think of the other girl that fell off that was on the show we used to watch, but yeah. it's a couple of them. That's crazy. Raven Samar grew up in McCain, Queen Latifah. We did not oh, see that coming. Oh, for sure. For sure. I kind of seen it on that show, Raven, though. She was on the other side on that show? She was husky. Ooh. Uh, Disney said she had to wear them all them fits because they were like, yeah, you got titties. We don't want to see none of that on this channel. She yeah. did have them boyfriend jeans on a couple yeah, episodes. Yeah, they was making so Orlando was like, yeah, I'm seeing the leggings. Y'all seeing the dyke pants for sure. <laughs> I, I pray that they had a different dressing room. Because <laughs> 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 y'all imagine when he's that age, bro, the, the, the platform he on, the level of women he's seeing for real, bro. Yeah, bro. I know he was slaughtering shit, bro. I want. I just want to talk to him, bro. Yeah. I don't. Want, bro, I don't a, think people really ask him the real questions, bro. That's the only I guess what's I the real want. question. Asked. He just said the real Kevin Hart fifty times. <laughs> I need. To, I need to be around. Nah, bro. Him when he's being him. Yes, I need to bro. see this shit person. The because party questions we got for him, bro. What man? I, I need to see if he really was at Diddy party. <laughs> Still Cat, Cat Williams episode with Shannon, bro. Oh, I ain't seen nothing. Take this shit up, bro. The Fall 20 Atlanta <laughs> Brown episode. <laughs> <Quincy Moore. laughs> oh, can we buckle, please? Yeah, okay, how much he costs? Yeah. <laughs> I got uh, some hot Cheetos and a, a snack wrap. Yeah, a pack of Newport. It gotta be in our and budget. A large yeah. pizza. For it real. gotta be at least five, six bands. Hey, we gotta get Orlando Brown and Antonio Brown the same episode. Oh, uh, no. Nah. I'm cool. Oh, uh, AB can't much. pull up. AB got the best Twitter of all time. Hey, <laughs> Steve can pull up, but at the same time, Paul, nah, that's gonna they be. They family. That's too Brown much, family. bro. That, bro, I was That's too much. My brain can't hey, function man. with that. Antonio Brown on Twitter, retweeting players, is putting cracker of the month. It's the funniest shit I have seen in my life. He gets on Twitter and says the wildest shit ever. But because he's done so much wild shit, everybody like, that's cool. Yeah. I love it. Nah. Get well soon, King. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't he not getting well. Yeah. <laughs> Get well soon. I ain't rolling with him. I ain't. <laughs> Why you doing? I ain't Why rolling with him. Like I ain't rolling with that. So it's on your brown off the table. We cool. No, nah, he could be okay, on this okay. motherfucker. I, but him and uh, not Orlando together, Brown. Okay. No. Yeah, I don't but if we going to do it like that, we might as well go Orlando Brown. <laughs> Antonio Brown. He might as well go ahead and get the third one. The third one. Bobby, <laughs> come on! <laughs> I just want to hear. <laughs> Shit, some Bobby first. Because he wants them niggas. We don't want to see him before anybody wants to bring some of that goddamn barbecue sauce. <laughs> That nigga said he got a headache or some shit. Why he ain't show up? Oh, that nigga did a DMP All Star. I forgot and about I, that. I'm sorry, IT man. I still owe you yeah, for that. Yeah, my IT's in there ready to scream. This nigga said, I got a headache. <laughs> did she have a whole new edition yeah, shirt there? Had a whole new edition shirt. Oh, yeah, Bobby, you got to pay Had us pouring that weak-ass barbecue sauce <laughs> on shit. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> I don't know if it was guy even tried, but fuck you. <laughs> oh shit, he was, was hype as hell. She was. <laughs> I forgot me here came to that event. You was supposed to collab yeah. with Bobby Brown. Yeah. Damn. Bobby B, the three Browns and shit. <laughs> that would be crazy. Ooh, who the wildest Brown? Oh, that's tough. And they proms? That's tough. Because Bobby has to be up one or two. Bobby hit Janet Jackson and Whitney Houston. Bobby the league. best. Go. He the best Brown. Okay. No doubt in my mind. No okay, I had the fourth. Chris Brown. All right. Well, who the oh, best Brown? Oh, damn. Now the legend. Who the Lee best Brown? Leave Brown home while I'm with my other bitch. That's that's a that's a different bag. No, nah, okay. So Chris Brown is the GOAT. Okay, Chris Brown the GOAT. Bobby, Ooh. Orlando, Ooh. then Antonio. I okay. think we gotta switch Bobby and Chris Brown. You think? 
Huh? Bobby Brown's the goat. That nigga Bobby fried chicken with cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is different. <laughs> Bobby Brown did hit Whitney Houston and Jenna Jackson. <laughs> that nigga fried chicken with cocaine. He but Chris Brown one, did bro. hit Rihanna and all the other bitches. I was gonna say it, <laughs> the, look is just crazy. Crazy. <laughs> the rundown is silly. If okay, we're going so yeah, so how, how does this ranking? Are we ranking just the litest, drugs just and the, career? Just the litest just one, like, just the, <laughs> the litest one, bro. All right, bro. That's Chris. Chris See, crazy, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. You think Chris was more lit than Bobby Brown and Bobby Brown? Pro? Hell yeah, Ooh. bro. I don't know, bro. And Bobby Brown, nigga. probably you think he was more lit than Chris Brown? What? I don't know, bro. Chris Brown is he had a Whitney legend. Houston, bro. New Edition was getting a lot yeah, of different. Yeah, him and Whitney business. Houston doing coke together. I Rihanna don't know is bigger than Whitney Houston, bro. Whoa, Whoa. no, the fuck she's not. You out of pocket. <laughs> You are out of you fucking pocket. Drunk. Oh, you're you out of pocket. And field. I love Whitney. You, you're tripping. Greatest singer, vocalist of all time. Whitney but, Houston is way better. But stature. Bigger. Don't do Whitney it, bro. Houston, bro. I don't want Celebrity. you to do this. Celebrity. I don't want this you to do this. This is wilder than my Michael Jackson tape. No, it ain't. Yes, it is, No, bro. it's not, yes, bro. Yes, it is, bro. It's a story. Rihanna is not bigger than Whitney Rihanna's Houston. Rihanna's more popular in 2024 than Whitney Houston, Because Whitney Houston, bro. dead, bro. I don't, don't say it like that. Say it with a soft and tone. Out of this, right? Hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Just popularity. Popularity. Whitney Rihanna, Houston, Rihanna's bro. more popular than... Rihanna's more popular. She is, bro. No, no she's not, not y'all. I'm not comparing music catalog, y'all. When, y'all know when, 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 about music. when Whitney Houston was alive, bro, do you understand what her movie did? She did Cinderella. Nigga, she did the... The, the fucking what? bodyguard. Do y'all understand the how big... The preacher's wife, nigga. Do you how big the bodyguard the movie was? The preacher's wife is on the same level as Nigga, we still play her Super Bowl national anthem, nigga, after school, Singing, bro. Don't I, I won't even judge Rihanna that. Out of it. I won't even take Rihanna is nowhere near as talented as Whitney. Nah, but I'm saying Whitney the Houston, biggest though the, popularity. Oh, you billionaire, just, bro. Oh, they gonna yeah, you. Whitney Houston. If she didn't do drugs, she would have been a billionaire. It's crazy, her, bro. Fucking daddy took all her money. Whoever did. <laughs> Shout out to the real Houston. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you right now that the Bobby and Whitney show is one of the best TV shows of all time. The sure. biggest rap for this shit. That shit's a sure. I need Bye. that. Kind, <laughs> I need that kind of love though. Oh. What I'm telling you, if Whitney Houston didn't get on it. drugs, yeah. she she's if, the biggest. If, if me and my girl did coke, I want us to act like Bobby and Whitney. I'm cool for sure. That's gonna turn to snowfall real quick for sure. I told y'all once <laughs> I get that check. So. In bias, <laughs> you see, to see, but see, Tig over there sniffing. <laughs> man, my oh, nose, what? man. <laughs> Look at I got me. something in my nose. <laughs> Not that. I ain't never did a drug in my life. I'm scared. He clean. He clean. I'm scared. Where's the smart water? He's facts. I mean, he I'm too scared, bro. He clean. But I'm going to turn up for the pod. I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm going to tap in for CB. <laughs> BB. For see, sure. see, oh. That's not the content nah, that we're asking I, you for. No, seriously, though. No. Chris, Chris Brown and Rihanna is bigger than Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston. Like, if they were still together, oh, no, no, no allegations. No, no, no. No allegations. Bro. No, no, no. And put them, put them all on drugs. Fuck it. <laughs> they if are. Both, if Whitney was still alive, R.I.P. Baby girl, Bobby and Whitney would not be as big as Chris Brown and Rihanna. Nah, I'm I telling think. y'all. The only reason that Rihanna and Chris Brown be bigger because Bobby and Whitney fall off was way too early. Like if they never got on drugs and they always just like had a normal life, nobody be bigger than Whitney Houston, bro. Yeah, that's... Like, if she never had, like, drug problem, bro, nobody would be I, I know, bro, but that, that was a part of her journey, bro. Yeah, it is, it is, but I'm just you know saying... I mean, if you count the fact that... If, if Mike Tyson never picked up the powder dust, he'd be the greatest <laughs> boxer ever, bro. That's true That's fact. a part of their journey, bro. It is. So but, we can't take that. But factor in social media, if... Bobby and Whit, bro. If Whitney Houston had social media, bro, well, she's too old for her to be popular. Nah, when they had that show, I'm saying bro. in their prime, bro. They got social media in their prime. If they would have had social media in their, look what they did without it, bro. They yeah. was on every TV without it. Yeah. If they had, if Instagram, they had social media when they, they did that, Bobby Whitney and Bobby Brown. I mean, oh, no, whatever show was called, they Patreon would have been cracking, nigga. What? They popular, but I'm saying Rihanna can go missing and still be bigger than them. She went. Uh, she ha- she built. She a, goes missing, a bro. Okay, that's. I'm not take y'all trying to do what if. I'm telling you the facts, bro. She, she did. She Fenty, a, went she crazy. A, Fenty is amazing, bro. Yeah, For sure. facts, facts. That's bigger than anything Whitney Houston ever did. It is, bro. It touched multi multi cultures, bro. Whitney Houston wasn't doing shit outside of singing, bro. Go singer, 
But nobody wants to be like Whitney, bro. No. Besides bitches in my neighborhood. Oh, That's because you got caught. They, they found out. My aunties and shit. They <laughs> wanted to be Everybody wanted to be Whitney, bro, before they found out she was in trouble. Nah, they with still, shit, afterwards, niggas seen the bodyguard. Yeah, I'm like, shit, I'm with it. it. Yeah, I, nigga, bodyguard had everybody up, bro. One of the best soundtracks of all time. Yeah. For sure. I'm just saying, like, so far as outside of their profession mm-hmm. and they side hustles, they could never match yeah, up. Yeah, but to that wasn't really a thing back then. Niggas didn't have side hustles back then. Like, look at Mariah Carey and them. All them stars didn't really have side hustles. Yeah, but Mariah's worth 400 M's. I mean, her Christmas fucking song does 120 fucking millionaires. Elite. Fucking Christmas. To get up out of this conversation, I got to ask y'all. <laughs> we'll ask you more importantly. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no fuck ahead. that. Since we here, who who would you be? Like who are who are we? Who's Chris Brown? Oh, Who's Chris Bobby? Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! I'm the real CB. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Not Chris Bosh. <laughs> you gotta you gotta take his home. Stop disrespecting CB. <laughs> we thought it was your CB, but it was the other nigga. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who is the that ain't crazy. <laughs> so a lot of smart. How does Bosh name just to find out it was D Wade? <laughs> y'all heard him, right? Y'all heard him, right? Y'all heard him. No, nah, for real, y'all. The real PB. Oh, on some real shit. On some real shit. I ain't say we nothing. on YouTube, y'all rank us too. Who's Chris Brown? Who's Bobby Brown? Who's the third one? Who's Orlando Brown? <laughs> I can't be Orlando. I'll take, I'll take Orlando. I can't be Orlando. <laughs> DJ. I'm really Bobby Brown, though. Oh, that's facts. <laughs> I'll take CB. Cap. I ain't never saw, I ain't never, I ain't never hit a motherfucker, but I thought about it. Cap. So I'll take CB. I'm going to be, I'm, <laughs> thank God you thought about it and thought it was a good yeah, idea. I told no, you. Cooler heads for Swing prevail. and miss. No. <laughs> I'm, be, no. I'm Bobby Brown because he had a highlight moment. Like he had some real highs. And then nigga just had some super yeah. lows. <laughs> and you look like him, man. You got hair like him. Oh. I'm going to take Chris Brown. Just because I can dance, I can sing. What the fuck this nigga just say? <laughs> no, I thought you was talking so, about Brown off of a fucking Tyler Perry show. Oh, <laughs> that's what you should have been, that Brown motherfucker. <laughs> He's a dickhead. <laughs> I hate that nigga. <laughs> That's the real bro. Oh, that's, a bro. that's a bro he was Mr. talking Brown about. My nigga. Kurt Franklin got my nigga cracking. <laughs> Great uh, gospel singer. So DJ Orlando. Well, he went from Franklin to Tyler Perry. Boy, he had a hell of a life. He had Damn. two crazy ass bosses. Yeah, so DJ Damn. left for being OB. Nah, I <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's man. crazy. No. Hey, man. Vince, <laughs> Vince McMahon is out of fucking pocket. What Vince do now? God damn it. Bro. I see he had the allegations. I ain't read the report. Bro, he, he got had, allegations? Bro, more. <laughs> he had a WWE superstar make a mixtape for Brock Lesnar so he would stay, bro. Oh, man. That's why he stepped out last week. Damn. He had to make a... Uh, he was wilding, bro. He was Damn, wilding. he made her go... Yeah, yeah, bro. Patreon? For the, for the contract. Well, they went only fans. He went Patreon. <laughs> Patreon's for the contract. That's crazy. It was a little higher than 520. Man. He, hey, that's funny, too. Hey, who said that? Who was the lady, though? She was a WWE superstar. I forgot her name, but... Oh, uh, they ain't had her name. Yeah. I'm gonna look up the name. Yeah, Vince out of pocket, bro. Damn, he... Throw yeah. wrestling away, bro. I wonder how... No, nah, don't do that. We just signed a $5 billion deal. You hear me? That's that shit crazy. We, and my girl Jay just premiered at the Ro- uh, Royal Rumble. Went crazy. Yeah, her and uh, Bianca Belair having a moment that was hard. Yeah. I seen one. It's a white. It's a white uh, Facebook page that just hates black wrestlers. <laughs> and they were just like, "See, this is why I can't watch this shit." When I grew up, I seen big titties. Now I gotta watch big asses. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga racist as fuck, <laughs> bro. He said we saw Sable and Stephanie yeah. McMahon. <laughs> so I see big tits now. All I got to do is look at these big asses. For a fucking club. I was like, damn, this dude is fucking racist as shit. <laughs> oh, a racist wrestling page is crazy. Y'all, I swear to God, racist as fuck. I was like, damn, this like, look at this buffoonery. <laughs> I guess they call it buffoonery and shit. I was like, yo, this dude is nuts. I see the big type of Dusty Rose hoop, and he was lucky to get active. What? I gotta watch that Dusty Rose hat game. Bro, it's his layup package was crazy. I was cracking. I said, damn, this big ass nigga go. I gotta see that. Damn. But shout out to uh, WWE, man. That was a good WrestleMania. I mean, Royal Rumble y'all had. For sure. CM Punk. 
Yo, Cody Rose won. For sure. Lost it too, too. That shit's crazy. Yeah, he was going super hard for that. But Chick wasn't actually a wrestler. She just worked at the WWE. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so she was just some... Uh, she worked there. Oh, okay. So Brock Lesnar was at So that's even worse. Brock pulling people out of HR to get cracking for Brock. That's insane. He you doka. <laughs> Did I see um, Diddy uh, pick up Javante Davis <laughs> hugging <laughs> off the floor? Who? Diddy gave Javante Davis a hug and picked him up. Man, Diddy. I just... swear, it's not me. <laughs> This nigga be saying to watch. Don't do it. Anybody like that, bro. Anybody beat them. They beat the allegations. Oh, no, he didn't. He got yeah, a job. No, he, with the Houston. They, they ain't tripping. They just, <laughs> he, he went to Houston with the real turn up, so don't worry about it. <laughs> it ain't that nigga got your bitch off. I'm going to tell you something right now. If it's one place to break up with your girl and move to a new city, too, Houston is one top five. Nigga let Boston with his girl say, yeah, I'm still going to move here. Yeah. <laughs> If he would have went to Miami, it would have been super. Like him and uh, Eric Spoelstra having a time. Crazy. Oh, that's a crazy backup. Eric Spoelstra's having the most crazy. fun ever. He just got a hundred plus million off the books, and, and I ain't got fuck with you no more. Ooh, you ain't getting the cut of this alimony. What's the What's the city? If you move to, you gotta like, like y'all got significant others. Y'all gotta like, I, baby, I gotta, I gotta have my fun. I gotta go. Hmm. Probably Salt Lake City. <laughs> I swear to God, I hate this nigga. Ah, 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 I hate this nigga. Man. Toronto, baby. <laughs> they, they should be off the Toronto P. You might as well cancel Christmas, baby. We done, so. You want to attend there with the rappers? Yeah, we done, so. They, just got, they moved me there. They said, you got to live here for a year. P, it's over with. <laughs> Telling you, it's over. <laughs> Sound like me, man. Sound like, like nasty, man. Sound like nasty, bro. Like That's a wild man. place to hoop. Man, what? You getting out the mud. That's like J. Cole going to Africa to hoop. You going to Salt Lake City. <laughs> bro, you going to Salt Lake City. You miles with Nerva. I ain't going to say that. Shout out to the Jazz, man. Not the fans, just the organization. <laughs> <laughs> the real Jerry Sloan. Yeah, I'm about to say. I, I know what you The Jerry Sloan sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> sounds well. That's crazy. That's what we got. It's last night. <laughs> <laughs> it's a couple <laughs> week days, bro. Last day, I, 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 I ain't gonna disrespect nobody. Oh so. Lord, before Jesus. we get up out of here, be it. Tell the people where they can find us. All Star Weekend. Hey, y'all got qu- hey, you got a quick joke about uh, my wife think that we really got Instagram girls flying in. Because <laughs> she's like, who's having Instagram girls? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, P, let's it go anyway. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? She's yeah, like, you got Instagram girls. I'm like. Yeah, let, let yeah, that. they they were burg at sunset. Let, <laughs> yeah, let that go. Anyway, <laughs> February fifteenth. That's a Thursday. Half of them cut hair. <laughs> Five twenty. Now, if we got a, <laughs> you know what? I'll fuck the promo. It's not late. No, I'm gonna do it. No, I'm gonna do it. Thursday, February 15th, Club 520. Like... Isidore, Charity Game, Warren Central That's High School. It's the girl, girl Be quiet, got. Jeffrey DeMarco T. <laughs> Thursday, February 15th, 520, Isidore. We at Warren Central High School for the Celebrity Charity Game. Then follow it. <laughs> Shout out to P. It's the nasty party. <laughs> 520 That's and, my party. 520 yeah. and friends. We at All Stars Lounge. And when he sure. mean friends, he mean Instagram girls from <laughs> Indianapolis. <laughs> and P, your friends. Hey, hey, your friends. <laughs> <laughs> when he say Instagram girl, he means your friends. Literally. I was about to go off a glitch, but <laughs> I'm a spirit. We got to go minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the gang. Nah, for real, though. After the party, it's the real after party at All Stars Lounge, for sure. Mm-hmm. Bring the kids out to the game, though. Everybody is welcome. For sure, for sure. Appreciate y'all rocking with us. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Club 520, we'll be back next week.